What's going on, Top Talent? It's your boy Miles Grooms, and welcome to the Top Talent League, where we do things the right way, not the slight way. Today, we're going to talk about perseverance and pushing through when you are tired. I am so tired right now, but I made a commitment to get this stuff done, and we're going to talk about a couple ways to, to push through when you are tired. But before we get started, please remember to subscribe, like, and comment to this channel. All the feedback and support you guys are giving me it's been tremendous. I don't know what else to say, but just thank you. But we will continue to grow, we continue to push, and we'll get better and better to our talents at the top. So again, today we're talking about how to push through when you're tired. And oh my goodness, I ain't gonna hold you right now. Your boy is tired. But I made a commitment to say I'm gonna do these YouTube videos because I need to stand here. It's a, um, it's a, a symbol of perseverance, of being able to push through things, of being able to just commit to my word, right? Be a man of my word. And um, it's not easy. It's a daily discipline that you have to build to be committed to um, doing things even when you are tired. But uh, a couple of things that's been able to help me recently is understanding why I'm doing what I'm doing, right? Not so much caught up in my emotions of what's going on right now, but where am I trying to go? What is my end goal? If you have a plan of like, you know, if I do A plus B equals C, and you know what C looks like, it's not so hard to do A and B. I mean, it's still going to be hard, but now you kind of know, like, okay, I know if I do these things, I put in the work, I get my reps in, I might get my angle of what I'm trying to get to. And for me, that's just building this top talent community to a place where people can come to who have talents, but they just want to up their game. They just want to live at a, a higher status of, of life, a higher status of spiritual, the spiritual level. Just increase everything in life just to be at the, um, the top spot and get the most that they can get from it. But to be able to do that, you have to be around like-minded people. You have to have good disciplines. You got to have good boundaries, right? But that's number one. Number two is, like I said, having good people around you. If you don't know, I'm married and I also um, have a daughter. Seeing them makes me push. They, they push me. Because now um, it takes the laziness or the tiredness that I have out of me. It ain't, it ain't about me, right? I want to be able to provide and give them my lifestyle um, that they deserve. Matter of fact, it's the best one that I can provide them, God willing. And um, to be able to do that, I have to do things even when I'm tired, no matter how I feel. I have to separate the emotion from the end goal, right? And still do the tax to get things done. A lot of times, people, we're, we're so emotional, so emotional. And we won't let those emotions stop us from doing our, our goal or accomplishing um, any big thing in life. And it's nothing but the enemy. It's just the enemy trying to stop you. Every time you get super emotional, you're super tired. You're like, man, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put that on to another day. Man, it's okay. Cool. I'll, I'll try that again next week. And it's the enemy stopping you from getting closer and closer to accomplishing your goal. Because he knows you're close. He knows you're close. All right? And that's exactly why he's trying to sneak in and tell you you're tired. It's okay. We just wait till tomorrow. We talk about the fitness, right? Okay, I'm gonna work out today. Uh, no, nah, I'm tired. I'm gonna work out tomorrow. The next thing you know, you don't work out tomorrow. And then it's a week. Then it's a month. Now we half a year. Now you're so far back, you don't even want to go back in the enemy won, right? But I'm here to tell you, we can make a change with that. You don't have to let the enemy win. You don't have to listen to that voice, right? Know your end goal. Have good people around you. Have a goal that's worth fighting for. Have something that's worth fighting for. I know where I'm trying to get to. I know the life I want to live. I know the people I want to be able to reach. I understand that I have to be there for them. I have to set the example. I got to put my feet to the pavement. I can't sit back on the sidelines anymore. You guys know I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel. The enemy has been on me crazy. I'm tired. He wants me to miss days. He wants me not to record. I'm not going to let them win. Right? I'm setting those principles. I know where my end goal. My end goal is big. I want to talk to millions of people. Right? I want millions of people to be in front of me and get a word from me. And not only from me, from each other. The community is just up here. I want my family to be able to get a good word from me. See me stand on my principles and morals. And just be the man that they need me to be. Again, it's bigger than me. I'm taking myself out of it. And if I only think about me and my emotions, then hey, you know, it might get done, it might not. And that's not a way to live life. So top talent again, today I just want you guys to be able to push through. I want you to take one thing from this video. If you don't take anything, find the end goal that's worth fighting for. 
find something that no matter what, no matter how tired, sad, angry, even happy, whatever you're feeling, that angle is so big that you will find a way to see it through and get it done. You're not going to let nobody stop you. Your top talent. And you know what you got to do and you know how to rise up for the occasion. Till next time, top talent.